Hello everyone and welcome to this Funko review. It's your old buddy Mike, Mr. Mike on the mic. And on today's review is on this little beauty right here. This is the Funko Pop figure of Qbert. That's right. This Funko Pop was created back in 2016 and unfortunately it was vaulted. But when I was going around the Montebello Mall in Montebello, California, I came across a store called Extreme Toys. And they had a Qbert. They actually had a couple of Qberts. And I went ahead and picked one up because it was reasonably priced. And again, I'm a kid of the 80s and I love everything 80s. And what thing was best of the 80s was arcade games. That's right. What better way to spend some hard-earned money or you save some money doing chores around the house. And you wanted to go to the arcade to just have some fun. And Qbert was one of those games that was one of the best games to pop quarters in. It was fun. You had a great time. The levels weren't that difficult. But as for me as a kid, it definitely was difficult. <laughs> but now looking back, going Qbert was definitely an entertaining game. And, you know, now it's gone through so many remakes and stuff that, you know, it still has nostalgia. It still has fun. It still has value. And you know what? I wanted to pick up something that represented the 1980s fun things that I did in the 80s. And you know what? What better way is to pick up Qbert from Funko. Qbert was created by Warren Davis in 1982. It was also the manufacturer was Gottlieb. And it was just this great pyramid game where Qbert would just hop from post to post on the pyramid changing different colors and avoiding his enemies we're talking coily we're talking ugh we're talking wrong way and it was just a fun game and it just brings back so many memories so i just want to share with you this funko pop and as you can see as it's spinning around we got the backside of Qbert giving you what looks like uh his normal character from the game the pyramid we got a side profile of Qbert, and there's the frontal view so like always, guys, we're going to go ahead and open them up and should give you a better look of Qbert. Not easy being Qbert, but it's fun. And here we have Qbert out of the box, guys. And as you can see, he's just a cute little, I don't know what you want to call him, guys. You know, he's a little creature. He's a little alien. We never got an understanding of what Qbert was or what kind of species he was. But again, it's video game. You know, we didn't need any type of... Uh, reasoning of why certain characters look the way they did as long as it was fun and enjoyable we love to play that character Qbert as you can see you know small little orange guy with a big schnoz and what thing that what I loved about the game you know of course was uh if Qbert got hit you know attacked by one of his enemies like Coily or Ugg or Rongwar even the little red little jelly balls or whatever you know Qbert swore you know, his little bubble with his unique, uh, how would you say, Qbert ease, if I had to take a line from Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> yeah, we always thought of going, did he just say what I think he said? And we uh, we pretty much decided what he was thinking he was saying. And if we, of course, we all know what he was saying, you know, like, oh, and me. <laughs> but, you know, Qbert here, again, was... Uh, Definitely something of the 1980s, definitely had nostalgia, of course, uh, had many, many things of merchandise, and of course he was showcased on cartoons. Back in the 1980s, there was a show growing up on Saturday mornings, it was called Saturday Super Kid, which was a cartoon based from video games like Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., uh, Frogger, and of course Qbert. And it was weird about that cartoon, guys, you know, Qbert and lived in his own town but it was more 1950s you know Qbert had like a letterman jacket the girls were had hairs and uh skirts and even ugg and wrong way they were like bikers you know they were like the greasers it was weird but you know it's the 1980s you know so go figure but it was a fun cartoon <laughs> Uh, 
once again, this Funko Pop was released back in 2016. And they were some mystery minis that were released a year later, but it was only of Cuber and Coily. But, you know, what's weird, guys, is that, you know, we never got the rest of the gang of Cuber. We never got a normal-sized Funko Pop of Coily or Ugg or Wrong Way, which is weird because I would think, you know, now with video games and they have counterparts and they have partners and they have enemies and they're being showcased, Cubert never got that. You know, a mystery mini of Coily is one thing, but, you know, I want a decent-sized Funko Pop of Coily and Ugg and Wrong Way, and we never got that. So I really do, do hope that one day Funko will look back and relive the Cubert series and maybe say, you know what, we need to build up on that. You know, how about Cubert and you know how some Funko Pops will have a Funko base because their, you know, head sculpt's too heavy. Turn that base into that flying disc, you know, that if you remember playing the video game, you know, that was one way to avoid being attacked by Coily was to jump on that flying disc that'll take you back to the top of the pyramid. So I can see Funko doing something like making a cubert with a base and that base is the flying disc. Or, you know, definitely bring us Coily or Ugg or Wrong Way just so we can complete the set for Cubert. But overall, I'm happy with Cubert. It's a great nostalgia piece. Again, if you grew up in the 1980s, you grew up in that golden age of video games in the arcades, you know, Cubert was definitely something you gravitate yourself towards playing the arcade. Or even, you know, when Parker Brothers bought the rights to Cubert and made mass productions of different types of cubers for the entertainment systems back in the day like atari and ColecoVision, and even nintendo you know uh it was great fun so if cuber is something that brought you great joy in the 1980s you know he is still out there guys you still got to do your search and i know he's not on any type of uh websites for like your hot topics or game stops you know because he's again technically from what the funko website says he's vaulted so you might have to go to your other stores, you know, specialty stores. You might come across them somewhere down the road. But he is still available. He's still reasonably priced, guys. So, you know, there you go. You should be able to find him if you're really looking for him. But for me, I'm happy. Cubert, I love Cubert. Definitely bringing back some 1980s nostalgia with this piece. And I can't go wrong with Cubert. So, there you have it, guys. This is 1982's Cubert. Brought to modern time 2016 as it was released in 2021 as i'm doing this video for you so i know he's an older piece but i enjoyed him i really do hope you enjoy looking at this cubert and thank you for allowing me to ramble on as we talk about cubert but you know what i love it i love it and i thank you for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up hit that like and subscribe button we would love for you to follow our channel as we talk about some other great Funko Pops and other toy reviews. And you can look back on our other videos from Funkos and unboxings. And of course my wife's work from Knitting and Tail. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time everyone.